This is Mill Spec Monkey, and we're here with... Hey guys, Ben with Zev Technologies. I'm going to show you guys a few things that we brought this year. Uh, last year we introduced our V2 OZ9 models. It's everything you see on the wall here, so it's based off the uh, success of the V1 OZ9 platform. But we wanted to upgrade it with some features that uh, everybody likes from the Gen 5 model. So the main difference in the V2 is we started including Gen 5 strikers, firing pin safeties, and extractors. So the recoil system remains the Gen 3, but now you've got kind of the, the smooth and reliability of the Gen 5 trigger system. For those of you who aren't familiar, our, uh, our whole system is a, it's a modular system, right? So it runs, the heart of the gun is this uh, steel chassis system in here. That is the serialized component. If you have that particular part, you can basically build anything you see on the wall, a la carte, as you see fit. Uh, we got anywhere from compact size grips down to uh, a 17 length grip on a 19 frame. Uh, one of the, the biggest selling points is being able to go from a 19 length slide and barrel all the way up to a 34 length slide and barrel utilizing our conversion slides. Uh, this particular model is our Hypercomp, which is uh, one of our flagship guns. People love the 19 length ported barrel, so this uh, hopefully this year we're going to start bringing a 17 and 34 length Hypercomp barrels, both Gen 3 and Gen 5. Another particular product that uh, we brought for this year specifically is our aluminum grip modules. So we did a, uh, a collaborative project with some friends of ours, Warm and Fuzzy, uh, for a gun that uh, we wanted to make special. That was the first time we introduced these uh, from Zev, so we decided we'd go ahead and release them as a standalone product as well. We'll be coming in uh, gray, black, and OD green. Basically, anything that our current polymer grips are compatible with will be compatible with the aluminum ones, magwells mag releases, so on and so forth. So if you've got a compact frame and a polymer grip, you'll be able to throw it all into your aluminum grip module. Nice. I suppose on the note of compatibility, are you familiar with much uh, holster compatibility, like say certain Glocks will, will right. work so with? So there are some holsters out there, Glock specific holsters that the OZ-9 will fit into. Um, we typically recommend to go to an OZ-9 dedicated holster. The reason for that is the uh, this particular area here on the OZ-9 is slightly wider than that of a Glock, so there can be some fitment issues. So we do recommend reaching out to uh, some of our holster partners that make them specifically for the platform. Right on. Nope, not at all. Something else that we brought this year as a prototype, so it's not in its final design form yet, but we wanted everyone to see where we're headed. Uh, and know that we are thinking about the, uh, the smaller slimline uh, pistol. So this will, in essence, do the exact same thing as our, our full-size OZ-9 gun does. It'll have a serialized chassis system, multiple options with the grip module, same with the slide and uh, barrel. Once this kind of hits the market and it's off and running, we'll start introducing other designated optic cuts for the slide. Nice. Any backstory on the current uh, grip? sides there so on this one here it's basically a, a 43 uh, x size grip uh, it might look a little bit odd to everyone because this is just a 3d printed grip as it is just mm -hmm. a prototype so True. once we bring these to market we'll likely be doing both a polymer and an alloy uh, aluminum grip module yeah. like we did for the full size this year uh, one of my personal favorite accessories is our plus five uh, base pads that we do these particular ones have been done for the Glock magazines, uh, but this year we are bringing back uh, a plus five for the Magpul P Mag magazine. So everybody loves what we've done with the Glock ones. So we're going to do it again for the P Mags. It was something we had done uh, a number of years ago, and uh, people would not let us uh, go away from it. So we're <laughs> going to bring it back this year. Does the P Mag style get the price point down a little bit? Um, not on the, the base pad itself, because the base pad is still going to be made out of the same uh, aluminum alloy as we do with our, uh, our Glock base pads. Sure. Well, I suppose as final package price, does it change anything or, or any design theory of why to do the PMAG versus, say, a, a standard Glock mag? Well, 
I mean, you know, Magpul is synonymous in the, uh, the AR and Glock world, right? So uh, our OZ9s ship with PMAG magazines now, and uh, it just kind of made sense to move move into making base pads for those as well. So people have an OZ9, they've got their PMAGs already, they want a base pad but don't have any Glock magazines, it just makes sense to throw it into the uh, onto the PMAGs. Well, makes sense. Yeah. One of the other products that I know everybody is uh, asking questions and clamoring about is the FDP-9. So it's a project, if you're not familiar with it, it's one we're doing in conjunction with uh, with Magpul. So they're going to be executing all the plastic features on the gun, all the any polymer features. Zeb will be handling all the machining and metal components of the gun. So it is basically in its uh, its final design iterations. Once, once it is completely finalized, we'll do a small, small production run so that we can then start uh, throwing it through its paces with testing, and as soon as that's done, we'll uh, we'll move into production and bring this thing to market. So uh, right now, don't hold me to this. The goal is somewhere towards the end of this year, early 2025. So uh, take that with a grain of salt, but that's what we're pushing for. So, <laughs> Hopeful. Hopeful yeah. planning. Right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. No. Anyone who hasn't really seen it yet, it's a real uh, interesting platform. So we. Downward pressure on this little lever here, pops it open, put the thing back together, you push up here on the grip, hold it down, and you're good to go. All right, well, super, right. thanks for showing off your latest. Thanks for swinging by Zev Technologies. See you guys next year. Where, where can people go to see more about Zev? Uh, yeah, please feel free to reach out to us, uh, give us a call, or go to zevtechnologies.com. You'll start to see the new products start to roll out. Uh, if you're not already, sign up for our email notifications. We're going to put a heavy push on those so everybody knows what's coming and when. If you like this video and want to support us, check out the Millspec Monkey Store. Although known for morale patches, we also specialize in a good selection of DIY hardware and tactical accessories.